Bob's Tall Tale DLC has been released. And to say that it's a little bit overpowered and pay to win is an understatement. We're going to show you all the things that are in the DLC in this video and you can judge for yourself on whether you think it's overpowered or it's worth it, it's super pay to win. We're going to go through all the different skins you can add to your structures, all the different types of play placeable things we have and all the items you can actually use. But first we're going to start with a speed build. We're going to talk about the actual DLC. One thing that a lot of people may not know is you get an extra five levels when you get that DLC. So in in that way it is already pay to win you're already five levels above other people that can't get it if they don't buy the $40 DLC another thing is you've got many other things like shovels the dinosaurs um, the chests there's many things that they've added to that DLC that are a little bit pay to win in my opinion I've made myself a little saloon here it's called the sloppy saloon I've used the structure cosmetic to change it to an old Western style it looks really nice it gives it a great looking wood finish and in my opinion, it should kind of look like this is just a normal wood structure. I think it looks 10 times better than the other wood structure ever has. I tried to create something with my own creative skills. I hope you guys enjoy the look in which my creation is here. I tried to mimic other westerns that I had watched in the past and just give it a nice ambient look to try and capitalize and show you just what you could build with these new cosmetic skins for the structures. As we make our way through this video, there's many other things to cover and I will cover in future videos. However, what have you guys liked about Scorched Earth so far? I really do like that they added that the Scorched Earth was free. However, you have to pay, pay for the DLC if you want to get those other items and dinosaurs and to be able to use them. From what I know, you can't use the skins from the DLC unless you have it. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can't use the dinosaurs from the DLC either or maybe even the shovel or chest so that could just purely be a DLC thing so in a way you could actually get loot that nobody else can find and that's pretty cool in my opinion because you can hide it just like a Pelovia it's crazy the storage crate is a good solo thing to add I think for a solo player to have they also add these different types of windows where they're like pane glasses and you can see out it adds that insane ambient look that I actually really like and it's a really nice skin to be added and I, I honestly really like this all in all the building and structures look really good they've done a really good job with the quality of these structures the thing is you can overlap any quality of structure and make it look wood it means you can basically cover over a metal a tech wall anything and make it look wood they always also have these jail cell doors for the double doors so you can actually make it look like there's a jail which is in my opinion something cool and you can make something fun with your loot room you know really pve it up and make it look cool make a loot room that looks like it's inside a locked western vault. If you guys don't mind and you actually enjoyed this video, maybe think about hitting the like button, subscribing, and maybe even commenting what you think about this DLC. I know it it costs a lot for most people, and I know it sucks, but at least we got Scorched Earth for free. That's one thing I didn't actually think we are going to get. And now I'm going to show you guys the different type of lamps you can actually get, the different types of varieties. As you can see on the side there, we've got a tall standing one that looks like it is a lamp for a street. You've got, you've got table lamps, you've got a ceiling chandelier lamp. And I also proved to you that no matter what quality of wall you put down, you can switch it to a wooden wall. It still keeps the quality of that wall, but it looks like a wooden one. You can trick people into thinking it's just a wooden wall until they come up to the wall and look at what it is. They won't have any idea. And I even tested to see whether it takes damage like a normal wall. So if I was to shoot this middle one, which is actually a greenhouse, it takes damage from normal bullets. But if I shoot a metal wall, it doesn't take any damage. So that there is insane. Then we move over to the car and the car is mad. You can attach it to many different dinosaurs. Megalania, Thylos, there's so many different dinosaurs you can add it to and it, it makes a personal little base for you to go roll around with and a portable base that you can hide and run around with and just have fun with. I feel like this could be a cool addition to the game. It's not strong, obviously you can be raided. The dinosaur could probably be, be killed and then you lose everything. So it might not be super viable on PvP but hey, it's fun. Like, I like this thing. The kind of buildings you can make on this and the traveling.
but it does have a derpy side to it. You can climb walls with it and it just goes with you. I feel that this is probably not thought about when they were making the thing. When they were making this cart, they didn't think about this too much. However, it's funny, nonetheless. Then we have the town bell. The town bell can be alert, can be activated to alert teams within the area to defend more aggressively. The windmill can reduce the consumption of fuel within the area. I then wanted to test out whether the train tracks would be an open source if blown up. Will they have a stop or a blown up? And then I realized that it just adds another stop to it and you can't actually just drive it off. That kind of sucks. I wanted to try some fun things. I was disappointed by that. By the way, they put a new skin for the C4 and it's dynamite. It looks cool. Then I moved on to have a look with the train tracks. They added trains, train tracks, and many other things to do with trains on this. The possibilities are endless. The different types of buildings you can do for this, whether it be split ones, converging ones, higher, lower, turning, it is endless. The building is a little bit finicky. If the ground level changes too much, it can be very difficult to place things. I haven't done a lot of testing into this to see how to build it very well or how to support it when the foundation isn't there. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to build something onto it. I just haven't had a test of it myself and spent enough time with it. But I'd have to say this is a really cool addition to the game. Whether it will be worth for pvp i don't know i can't tell you that but all i know is it's a fun addition to scorched earth and could you imagine this on many other servers imagine this on pve you make yourself a massive train track around all the locations you want to stop off on when you want to go farming it requires charcoal to run which is cheap as and you can make stops off at different farming locations and then bring it all back to your base you can make cities you can make anything you want with this the possibilities are just endless and then it comes down to the shovel and the crate and the treasure chest this thing have your loot put in it and bury it underground people can't find it but you also as a player can get treasure maps to go find loot open world you can also booby trap the treasure chest with your own c4 and you know what once you do that you blow people up that find it also we can't forget about the oasis saw this thing is a beast. It's like the Quetzal of Scorched Earth. However, a lot larger, you can build a lot more on it, and it can revive downed dinosaurs. To tame it, you need to offer it dead dinosaurs of a high quality and level. Tame it, you get soul stones, and then you can tame it. Also, one thing else that is in this game is there's a skin for the ghillie, for desert ghillie. Also, there's coffins, and you can place a copy of yourself in that coffin, and it looks rather funny. This is the end of the showcase, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure that you hit the like button, let me know if there's anything I didn't cover, and I will see you guys in the next video.